Hello. In last video, I explained how we can build the GD native library for neural network and how we can use that in Godot. So in this video, I'm going to explain an overview of how neural network works and we are going to create a very simple system, neural network system in uh, Godot. So, so as you can see here, I have a very basic neural network system. It has uh, two inputs, okay? Each of these circle has a value, okay? Uh, this one has a value of two and this one has a value of one. And each of these is going to multiply by a weights, right? So weights is half and this weights is uh, 0 0.25. And these are going to add together. So two is going to, the, the result should be 1.25, all right? And finally, the result is going to add to a number that called bias. So each node, each of the circle has a specific bias also. So it's going to add this uh, to bias and this is the result. So this is the input and this is the output. This is a very simple neural network system, okay? Let's see another example. For example, I put 200 here and 100 here. You can calculate it yourself and the result is going to 126. Multiply this by weight, multiply this by weight, add together and finally add to bias. But after we calculate the result for this node, we put this result in, in a function that is called activation function. In this GD native uh, library, I use sigmoid activation function, but we have a lot of uh, different calculation function. Uh, sigmoid activation function is going to result between zero and one. So you put any number and the result should be between zero and one. All right, so, Let's see another example. So here we have uh, four input, one, two, three, four input, and one output. So the first layer here is going to be input and the last layer is going to be output. And what is this in the middle? This thing is in the middle called the hidden layer. So the things that happen, we put input, our input in these nodes, all right? And this nodes uh, is going to multiply by these weights and is going to put uh, the value here and the sum of all of the value with the sum to the bias uh, you put it in the activation function is going to result a value in this uh, uh, node and each of nodes we should calculate that value all right and finally we multiply this value by the weights this value by this space and this value by this space and finally we calculate the output. I'm not going to explain in depth or in detail the neural network because the most uh, mathematic operation uh, is going to calculate by the GD native library. But we should know something, some, uh, some basic idea about the neural network. All right. So what are the inputs? because we want to make a neural network for the game, all right? Imagine that we want to make a character, flappy with character that can fly between this uh, tube and, uh, and does not collide with the uh, with tube. So what information we need to give the flappy bird, all right? So the first information is the Y coordinate of the flappy bird the distance of the flappy bird with the, with the tube, the, the starting point of the gap that flappy bird can pass through, and the end point of the gap flappy bird can pass through. Okay, so these four information, these four information, we are going to put this in these nodes here, all right? And then we multiply these nodes to other weights and we put the in the calculator in activation function and etc. And finally we have an output. All right. And as you know, we put the output also in the activation function, which is sigmoid function. And the result would be between zero and one. Okay. So if my result is greater than half, I say jump. And if less than half, I will say don't jump. It's simple like that. But 
how does it work we should find the weights and the biases the correct weights and the biases for this system to work let's see an, an, a simple neural network example here here I have uh, two inputs and two output okay we don't have any hidden layer all right so each of these has a weight so uh, the weights that connect the first input to the first output called w11 the first input to, to the second output w12 and and so on we can show our weights as a matrix okay this matrix w11 w21 w12 and w22 and if i multiply this matrix by an a matrix of uh, my input and add to a bias which is this bias okay i got my output you don't need to know how to do matrix operation because the gd native library already do it for you but it is interesting to know that you can do this by matrix operation all right this is the mathematic operation that is done by the gd native library so now uh, this whole system i will call it network the entire system i will call it a network and i divide my network to layers okay for example this is the z layer zero this is the layer one and this is the layer two each layer contain a node that is contain a value all right and each layer contain a weights okay uh, and each layer also contain a biases so each layer have three things biases weights and and uh, and the values the the layer zero does not have, have any weights because you know this is the input layer okay and we don't have any biases but the layer one these are its weights and these are and it's as also as its biases and also the layer two so uh, now let's go in the godot and see how we can create a simple neural network system but in this video we are going to learn only how we can create a neural network system we don't care how we can teach the neural network and how we can uh, achieve a weights and biases to do an, a specific job. We will these things. We will do these things in the next video. So uh, here I have uh, my Godot project. Okay. Uh, in last video we import the GD Native library. So I create a network. So what net is equal to network and this network is like is only this this is the network okay this system is network now now i created the network so now i should uh, add the layer so i would say i want to add a layer just like that add layer with two value and net dot add layer with uh, two value and net dot add layer one item. so this is my input so input so the first layer is going to be input so if you have two inputs you should put the number two if you have four input you should put the number uh, four this is the hidden layer and this is uh, and this is actually the output so how many output do you have you have one output in this case all right this is out. Okay. Uh, and after this, is it is really important. We should call net.init. And after I uh, call net.init, the network is going to start with the random basis and random weights. So, so now if I call print net.size, Let's see what we have. So as you can see, I have number three here that shows that my not network size is three because I have three layers. Okay. So now imagine that we want to take our layer. So I will say print uh, net dot get 
layers layers with the s if you do that it, it's going to give you an array of three objects which contain each layer let's see so as you can see we have a layer of three objects that contain each layer and if i cancel the s and i put uh, the index here for example I want to get the layer 1, which is this layer, this hidden layer. This is the layer number 0, okay? Let's see what we get. We get an object. So can we get its weights? Of course. So you call point weights. So this is its weights, okay? As you can see, it's a 2 by 2 matrix. So it, this is one row and this is another row. Uh, can you change the network's weights for the first layer? Yes. So I would say net dot get layer layer one dot weight and I put equal to uh, okay. You should uh, you should put an array and inside that array this is going to be first row. For now I would put one one. And the second array should be one also. Yep. Let's see. So as you can see, we have one one. So you can also specify uh, each layer by yourself if you want. All right. Uh, do you have you have also biases? Net biases. Okay, so I have one one and I have a biases. Also, I can specify biases like this net dot get layer zero uh, one dot biases is equal to an array. This is just only one array. So I would put, for example, half and half. So I have an array of one for the weights and half for its biases. And I can uh, also print its value so as you can see because we didn't put anything inside there uh, the value for the start is zero and that's it so weight spices and value and and please pay attention that uh, our zero our layer zero has no weights and has no values so you can see it, it does, doesn't contain weights and biases. It has only values. All right. So, uh, if I want to print all of my networks, I just say print. And this gives us all the network. All right. You can see here, I have network, layer start. This is the weight of the layer one. This is the bias of the layer one, and it's going to another layer. We have this uh, this uh, uh, weights, and we have these biases. So this is going to be the whole network. So in this video, we are not going to teach the network to do a specific job, but we are going to uh, learn how we can uh, save the network or load the network. Imagine that you already teach your network and you have your network to do a specific job and you want to save it or you want to load it, your network to use it in your game. So what you can do, I can say net dot save, uh, net dot save, and here I put resource and I put for example uh, net dot nn. Okay, now I save it. So let's see in file manager. All right, wait. Okay, here. Yeah. That's it. So as you can see, all of the information of my network is saved into this text format file. The weights, the biases, and also the weights, the biases for the last layer so how how we can load that so for loading that you don't need to add layer or do you do and also you don't need to call the init function okay 
what you need to do for loading okay I just delete all of this all right and I just delete this also so I have my network I say just net that load resource uh, net .nl. so I load my network just like this so now we want to see how we can put an input and how we can calculate an output so in this case we have two uh, the input layer has two input okay has two input and has one output so the function that you need to do that so I will call var out is equal to net dot feed forward and the output is, and the input I will put for example an orbit, a random number maybe 0.2 and 0.8 okay and I print my output so as you can see it is simple like that it's do all the matrix operation and all everything for you so uh, the output is like 0.542 etc so uh, and it is in array okay output always in array so if I put give us a zero value so it's going to give us this and this is the way that you can put an input and take an output so up to now we learn how we can put input on our, in our neural network system and how we can get output how we can load and how we can save and how we can create our network with uh, multiple layers so uh, but we didn't learn how we can uh, actually teach our neural network to do a specific job there are multiple ways that we can teach our uh, neural network there are two of them actually in this uh, GD native library one of them is uh, back propagation with gradient descent algorithm and one other is called the genetic algorithm we are mostly going to use genetic algorithm for games uh, but also we are going to take a look at the uh, gradient descent and back propagation which we will learn in the next video have a good time until the next video bye